It's KBC Channel 1 and Business Kenya Tea Development Agency has announced zonal and uh, national direct elections will be held on 26th of this month as the agency wraps up its nationwide elections. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mithika Linturi says apart from Theta Tea Factory, whose elections were stopped by a court order, all other KTDA factories held their grassroots elections. Kenya Tea Development Agency will have new directors this month after the agency completed its grassroots elections. The elections that were the first to be conducted through a secret ballot by the IEBC attracted slightly over 328,000 small-scale tea farmers, representing a 52% turnout. Following the successful elections, the directors elect will be presented in the farmers' special general meeting for adoption of bona fide directors by the farmers in accordance with the articles of association of the tea factory companies. Linturi says the IEBC will still conduct the 26th KTDA directorship elections after the High Court ordered the tea agency to outsource independent farms to carry out the elections. Elections mark an important milestone in the Kenya tea industry reform journey whose desired hand is to inculcate wound corporate governance, transparency and accountability in all the value chain actors, especially the farmers. This comes as the tea agency refuted claims that it holds 200 million kilos of unsold tea at its warehouses distorting tea prices. KTDA says that it can account for all its tea at the warehouses and none has expired, confirming it will not destroy any tea in its possession. A section of tea buyers have been calling for the abolishment of the $2.43 minimum price calling for market forces to dictate pricing in a bid to make Kenyan tea competitive. Benson Ryoba reporting for Lunchtime News.